What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about Fantasy Star Online 2. Today we are talking about the Ultimate Booster Exchange Shops. Ultimate Boosters have been a thorn in our side and for most people, they are the only thing holding them back from creating the end game equipment. There are many ways to get Ultimate Boosters, but the most notable one is from doing Mining Base Defense VR. And when reaching S rank, you can get up to 7 Ultimate Boosters every run. If you need a guide about mining based defense VR, that video is listed in the description down below, as well as a cheese guide to get your S rank easily. The whole point of those videos are to maximize your ultimate booster farming efficiency. But now with today's update, we have a new way to get ultimate boosters and that is by exchanging other items for them. If you head on over to the shopping plaza, up the stairs and talk to the photon drop swapper. Click on the photon booster exchange shop to exchange 90 photon boosters for one ultimate booster. Then another way is through rising weapon badge number 5 shop. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, there is an option to exchange 10 rising weapon badges number 5 for one ultimate booster. Another way is through Divide Metals Exchange Shop, where you can exchange 30 Divide Metals for one Ultimate Booster. Lastly, you can exchange 2 AC Scratch Ticket Items or 2 Recycle Badges for one Ultimate Booster in the Limited Time AC Swap Shop. The best way to use these exchange shops for ultimate boosters is first by using Photon Booster Exchange Shop, as Photon Boosters aren't used for much and we usually have a lot of these. And when you run out of those, just go to the Rising Weapon Badge number 5 exchange shop and exchange your Rising Weapon Badges because we have an abundance of ways to get those and lastly, there's Divide Metals Exchange Shop. You should never exchange 2 AC Scratch Ticket items or Recycle Badges for one ultimate booster. Not only are you getting ripped off, but there's a way cheaper way. And that is by exchanging one recycle badge for 60 divide metals. Then go to the divide metal exchange shop and exchange 60 of those divide metals for two ultimate boosters. So instead of directly exchanging two recycle badges for one ultimate booster, you can exchange one recycle badge for 60 divide metals, then exchange those metals for two ultimate boosters. There is also a limit of 20 exchanges from the divide metals to ultimate boosters, and a limit of 12 exchanges from two recycle badges for one ultimate booster. However tempting this may be, I highly recommend just farming for them instead of using recycle badges or AC scratch ticket items because of how expensive they are and how valuable they are. Either farm photon boosters to exchange those for ultimate boosters or farm straight ultimate boosters from mining base VR or from the new divide quests. In divide quests, by reaching a certain amount of points every week, you unlock rewards and some of those rewards are divide metals ultimate boosters, pure photons, and lumen fragments. Going back to the limited AC swap shop, you can also get Skydance Boon for 40 recycle badges. This augment is considered the best augment for S8, as it gives you shift and the band buff when you are in the air for longer than 2 seconds. There's also S7 Still Grace, that when stationary for 1 second, you restore 4 PP every single second. When you buy these, these are capsules that are usable when augmenting your units or augmenting transferring from one unit to another. And by the way, if you want to add Skydance Boon onto a unit that's already augmented out, you first need to add it onto another unit by augmenting that unit. Then use S grade Augment Transfer to transfer that Skydance Boon onto your main unit. In this process, you will lose one augment slot for that Skydance Boon slot. Or you can just use your Augment Transfer Passes and transfer all of your main units augment onto another unit with Skydance Boon and not lose any augments. I would highly recommend against using Augment Transfer Passes right now as in the future you will need a lot of these to get your units to 8 slot and create the best units in the game. And that's it for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time.